Once again, it's your boy Sellers here, and we got one of the best up and coming wrestlers in the business right now. I, I personally think, and I'm gonna be a little biased, I think he is the hottest thing going right now in wrestling. I don't care what promotion you're looking at. I got my boy Kevin Knight. Kev, how you doing, man? Man, I'm doing pretty good, man. I appreciate those words. Man. I appreciate those words, man. It's it's been a journey. It's yeah, a journey. absolutely. And seeing your status <laughs> from day one as a young lion to where you are now, let's just tell the people for those that may not know what is your current status. I mean, you've been on Impact. Uh, of course, you did uh, Battle in the Valley that we're going to talk about in a few. What is your current That's status it. in New Japan or your current status in professional wrestling right now? Man, current status, I'm, I'm with New Japan 100% right now. Um, it's uh, just graduated full time from Young Lion status. So I'm, I'm, the, I'm the jet, the jet Kevin Knight. So we, we, we full speed ahead. What, whatever comes, you know, we got to be ready for those opportunities. Um, Impact is, 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 a, is a great place right now to get some work, get some TV reps and everything, getting those extra, getting that to a, to a different audience. And everything so impact's been great to me so far so i love doing both in between so it's amazing absolutely absolutely yeah. and shout out you just did an interview with fightful um just a couple of days ago yes, that's posted on youtube for those that follow we like to promote all wrestling promotions or any type of promotions everybody's hustling to try to do what they can um and it was advertised very well um just show how does that feel to knowing to where you was a young lion to now being graduated how how was that moment for you did you have any emotions? What was your private time with that? Man, it was um, it was kind of surreal because it was kind of uh, on my on my terms because literally, I went up to Gato Son before one of the shows and told him about my idea. Yep. I'm sure he had no idea of, of what I wanted to do or anything, so I, I hit him by surprise and he just said, "Yeah, hey, go for it," and just letting him give me that freedom, you know, just instill that confidence in myself, just to really believe in myself and just keep it keep it pushing, because um, in New Japan. Uh, you know, there's there's young lines, um, but there's no hasn't been an African American young lion to to kind of like lead the way and and show how it's supposed to be done with the Japanese audience. So I feel like every time I take a chance, it's something new, and and you know I get kind of cold feet with it, but but you know at the end of the day, just got to dive straight in. So it's it's been it's been a crazy journey. Just so it's just been great just to believe in myself and just seeing my vision come to fruition. It's been, it's been amazing. Absolutely. Now, when I've seen yeah. you perform, and I've seen you live a couple of times, I've seen you out on the West Coast in L.A. <laughs> I, I yep. see you here in D.C. where I live. And, of course, during those times, you were still in your Young Lion phase. Of course, for those that don't know, if you're in Young Lions, you got to go with traditional black trunks, <laughs> black boots, uh, everything. But now, and you was, like, in those dark matches, per se, during, yep. during those times. Now, it's like, you're getting full blown with this new gimmick. How would you describe your gimmick based on where you are? I know your clothing setup and how you talked about that before. <laughs> how would you describe where your gimmick is now, but where you want it to go? Man, but I don't. I, I can't give a a great description on, on everything like that. I just like to base my. I like to think of myself, Jet Knight's mix of of Deion Sanders. Rapper Cameron, you know, everybody just rolled up into one, just got that swag, just confident, just just that cool guy you see on TV. That's the definition of two fly. So mm -hmm. that's that's who I am as a, as a person, just on screen as well. So, you know, as I keep going and then working with Kushida is, is only going to make it come out even more. So it's it's been a great, great journey. And I, I can't wait to see myself what I'm going to do uh, going forward. So I'm I'm just excited as you are. <laughs> and, and that's interesting. We're going to talk about Kushida in a second, but that's interesting when you said that Cameron reference. I was like, <laughs> hey, if he come out with some pink outfit with like, get a pink car to come out here like he's Eddie Guerrero, yeah. just as a, a black version of yeah. this, that would be dope because that Cameron no. is the dipset. My boy grew up as a huge dipset fan. Real that's talk, interesting. Real talk. My first ever uh, match I ever did was at a seminar um, like 2019. And I came out. I came out to Cameron, old boy. I came out with the with the pink do rag, the pink jacket on, and everything. So I I've only did it that one time. It's probably never gonna be seen. But um, hey, we we might have some you know to come back around to in the, in the future. So I'm, I'm a plug if you do some uh, some bars and, and do a couple of raps <laughs> out there with it too. Now I'm not trying to be cliche or cool when I'm saying that, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. know, just thinking about you know with the possibilities that can come with that, man, that's amazing. 
But once again, I'm, I'm just very proud of you to see where the start is and, and where you're going um, and just keep pushing yourself. But let's talk about New Japan Pro Wrestling Battle in the Valley. Um, not only, and I know you talked about, you know, the excitement you had going into the show when you talked about it in interviews, but now you had the show. Very successful show for those that got a chance to watch it or mm-hmm. at least read some reviews on it. Not only were you in that eight man tag match, yes, you, sir. Won it. you won. You yes, won. Yes, sir. So, Came so, out on top. And so that, that's huge, though, because when you talk about the booking, the situations of wrestling, and they yes. say, hey, Jet, we're going to have you, you know, or you just perform, not only perform, but you're going to take the win. Yes. What was that moment like for you? And would you say that's your biggest win uh, right now in wrestling? I, I definitely think that's up there, one of my biggest wins, because just everything around that whole event, Battle in the Valley, you had Okada main event, and you had Mercedes Monet first match yes. outside uh, WWE. So it was a lot of new faces just, just tuning into that uh, whole pay-per-view. And for those first-time viewers to see a person like me win that first match, and it was after an hour delay and everything. So they were, just, <laughs> they were ready to see something. Heard about the delay. Heard about <laughs> so, the delay. Yeah, yeah. So just having for them to tell me that I was taking the win and everything was was surreal. You know, I t- I always take things professionally. Always act like I'm I- I've been there before. So I was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. Um, you know, it's it's no pressure. It's no pressure ever. So so I took it in as just like a the company is is trying to get behind me. So I'm just taking it as if they trying to see something behind me, if they see something in me, then I need to push it even more forward. I need to be even more confident in myself because when it's time for me to shine, you know, it's it's gonna be that time. You know what I mean? So I gotta I gotta be ready for whatever comes. So, you know, I took it as a a, a step forward, definitely. I, and I was like, man, it's crazy. New Japan is putting some faith in me. So I took it as I don't take it lightly. I'm trying to make the most of all these opportunities. So it was it was great. And when you think about the other wrestlers that was in the match, we had on your side, it was Kushida, yourself, yes. and the DKC. And then you have Scar, Josh Alexander, Adrian Quest, and Rocky Romero. Crazy I mean, those amount are, those, of talent in there, man. I was about to say, it's a crazy amount of talent. <laughs> and you being, let's call you a purebred of New Japan Pro Wrestling, right? And we talk about yeah. how many times different promotions have purebreds that they build up from scratch to mm. then make that moment. And then you pick up the win. What was the talk backstage like? What type of feedback did you get after winning that match? Man, um, to be honest, uh, everybody's so wrapped up in what they're what they're doing, so it's it's not much too much feedback. But you know, I always get a great response. Always trying to pick people's ear. Um, you know, what could I have done better? Um, what did what did you see? How can I how can I do something? You know, always looking for room for improvement. But um, the feedback is always pretty well. Like, hey, yeah, you did your thing. Hey, I like the drop kick. Hey, I like the uh, <laughs> I like the DDT. So it wasn't too much to really um pinpoint from that from that match but you know every time I try to I don't be too hard on myself I just try to see okay that was good but how can I do that better okay that was that was good so yeah I'm gonna keep doing that one right there maybe I could find a place to put it in a different uh a different uh place in the match or something and just try to explore just I look at it as, as I'm an artist painting a picture just how can I incorporate my style differently always so it's, it's really on me. Like, I'm over here thinking in my head, hey, what could I have did better? So. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and let's talk about that drop kick. And I've told this to you multiple times. And, <laughs> and literally, for those fans, I'm going to describe it for you. And if you haven't checked out Kevin Knight, just go to YouTube, look up his name, <laughs> see his former matches, and you see one of his signature moves is that Mr. Drop Kick. And, and I'm going to make a comparison to try to describe it on audio. If you mm. saw recently DK Metcalf during the Pro Bowl and how he jumped up and got the football just off the vertical, yeah, that's how yeah. high Jet Knight gets his Mr. Drop Kicks. And I would compare it to fly, baby. Two it, it, fly. It, it, I would say <laughs> put it up there with Randy Orton, put it up there with Montez Ford. Your drop kick is up there. Like what what does it take for you to mentally make sure you land it appropriately? You get the air enough for it, and then you're doing it. Well, wrestlers are on top of each wrestler's shoulders, like you're Matt McClellan in a dunk contest. <laughs> right, how, right, right. What, what's your style to work on that? How do how do you try to master that? Man, proper pre- what's the what's the saying? Proper preparation, uh, piss poor pre- preparation leads to poor performance, or something like that. Something along those lines. I just messed it up, but um, man, that drop kick it stems just from the young line training. Us only able to do 
a hip toss, a stomp, mm-hmm. uh, arm drag, a, a drop kick, a tackle. You have to go out there and make a match for for a year or two. So it's like all those five moves need to make sure they're on point, crisp, whatever. So th- that drop kick did it, did it. So I couldn't get it wrong. So every time I go out there and do, it, I done did it a thousand times before. So it's it's like water to me now. So I'm just getting out there and just having fun with it at this point. So I'm just I'm just going out there having fun with a smile on my face, just just enjoying it and having that in the drop case just to cherry you on the top. Just we practice this a million times, so it's not even th- something I think about at this Absolutely. point. And it's Chris, man. Like you said, <laughs> Jack Fly, he makes it crisp. And and a, a huge aspect of that has been your partner lately, Kushida. And you already gave him great props. Uh, he's your role partner, I'm assuming, right now as you're traveling to your different yeah. shows, going across. Has he been like a great mentor to you? What do you see him as building you up to where you want to be? And who has been other mentors that's helped you along the way? Man, Kushida is is such a blessing. Um, being being able to be by his side is is I just learned so much because one, he's very, very open and and always asking me, hey, what do you want to do today? Hey, uh, you think I think we should try this. What do you think? He's always asking for my input. I'm just like, man, you Kushida, like <laughs> I I'm I'm following your lead. I don't know. <laughs> but, right. Um the fact that he's so open with me and, and just allowing me to be myself gives me the confidence just to believe in myself even more and you know coming up with ideas, coming up with uh what we should wear or like even you know coming up with a tag team name, still trying to do that. He's asking me. So so it's been amazing just to, you know, he he loves being with me and just him wanting to wanting to be with me is is uh uh I can't even put it into words, to be honest. It's it's amazing. Like somebody like Kushida is is handpicked me to be his tag partner. So just making the most of those opportunities. And and of course, other uh mentors I've had, of course, Shibata. Um mm-hmm. Katori Shibata, you know, always hammering the the fundamentals, mm-hmm. always making sure uh, you know, we got the intensity, our footwork is right. Um, because honestly, that's what wrestling comes down to. Like anybody can do a move you just make sure when you do that move it's on point you know you you doing it putting your whole body into it like no wasted movement no wasted motion you know what i mean so he's been he's been amazing just stripping me down from where i was on the indies and and building me back up just with all the fundamentals through the young lion phase and now i'm with kushida just being able to have all those fundamentals with just my swag just my presence just just been such such uh such great impact on my career. No, no pun intended. So it's been it's been great working with the both of those. Excellent, excellent. And yeah. I would say this, you know, early on, we all, no matter if you're a professional wrestling, professional sports, if you're educated, whatever career your choice you have, you always have those moments where you have a great mentor with you that give you that advice. And sometimes it's not about what you do in the ring. It could be about the business in general. Has Kashida has Kashida gave you that advice that you can remember instantly right now that's like set your tone in a different level that you don't mind sharing man that definitely recently uh with kushida he's been helping me a lot um just helping me understand japanese culture um, mm. um japanese fans like when when the whole super junior tag league he was saying okay this is a this is the country town of japan so they may want to see something different um mm. you know he's just putting me on game just how they do things over there because I, I would have no idea you know what i mean so kushida has been a great help in that in that ordeal and also as well um some other mentors I'm, I forget to mention. Um, ever since I met him, Chris Bay has been mm. always in my ear, just giving me great advice. Um, and also, uh, and the tag lead, Leo Rush, he's the one that really, really gave me the idea mm. to even um, um, talk to Gato and everything. So but those two guys, man, just really helped instill with a lot of confidence in myself just to like be myself even more. You know what I mean? Just don't be afraid to step on toes. So it's been, it's been great just taking everything from everybody and then putting my own spin to it. So it's been been a crazy journey. And shout out to Leo Rush, once again, another local DC guy, huge. Um, when I saw you in DC, he made a surprise appearance um, did, on the did. AEW show and definitely had a great reception. Welcome home for him. And he's still continuing to do things on the yeah. indie circuit as he worked his way. So once again, if you don't see people on the big promotions like a WWE or AEW, you got to look at these other up and coming promotions in different areas where it's a lot of talent out there. The it's very compatible uh, in, this, in the field. And I want to shift to where we are. Once again, we're February, Black History Month. <laughs> um, we, we both men of color, you yes, African-American, sir. as you spoke in one of the first 
to graduate the way you're doing it from a young line to fully being New Japan Pro Wrestling. How do you feel, you know, for both men and women, how do you feel the status of wrestlers of color mm -hmm. is right now? Man, be honest, it's it's uh, it's a great state, man. It's um a, a lot of we're we're making things happen. We're making things happen, and and it's we're so good that you you can't ignore us anymore. You can't just mm -hmm. uh give them uh, uh you can't just put them in squash matches. You can't just bury them all the time. It's like nah, this guy's actually real good. He got charisma. He got the athleticism. He can connect with the crowd. She as well. Like in in all major companies, I believe you got Bianca Belair. Jay Cargill, mm -hmm. um, Mercedes now in New Japan, Athena with ROH. So all, all promotions got black women champions. Mm -hmm. So so in that aspect, man, like we are coming up, we are making our presence known, and and that's the biggest thing. We're we're too good to ignore. Um, um, so I think this is our time. This is we got so much talent. You know, it, it's so much talent. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. So it's great to see everybody flourishing. Everybody eating. The state of the state of black wrestling is great, and I think there's only it can only get better. To be honest, it can only get better. Absolutely, and I want to talk about Mercedes Monet for a quick second, just to pivot off her, uh, which is kind of funny. You know, uh, my wife's name is Monet, so it's like oh, I have yeah. a partial. <laughs> I have a partial that that she has her new name with that, which is an extension of her real life name. And for right, those that right. don't know, formerly Sasha Banks of WWE, making her name similar to what Cody Rose and other wrestlers have done to, hey, what can I do outside of WWE, WWE to be in different promotions? Right, right, you, right. you watching what she did, you know, at Battle in the Valley, what was your emotion seeing her and seeing how that match was from behind the scenes since you were there? Man, it was, it was so surreal. It was, yeah. it was so surreal because I've been watching Sasha since, since I was in college before I even thought about becoming a professional wrestler. So seeing her in person for the first time, seeing her do her thing and seeing her killing it, having a crazy match with Kyrie Singh. Uh, oh, yeah. Like, like that was that was an amazing match. The crowd was on their feet the whole time. Man, she is a she is a uh, a master at work. Like I think a lot of people low key, I think a lot of people still sleep on Mercedes. I don't know what the reason I think you're be. right. But but like when you actually look at her work, she really be in there cooking. Like she be in there doing that thing. So I, and I hope and I and I and I'm glad she's with the New Japan um, company and Stardom, so she can really really show that she can go, that she can put her lucha training to to uh, to, to the test, to put her Japanese training into the test. Like she can really keep up with the best of them, who they uh, have quote unquote best female wrestlers. So I, I think sky's the limit. Like. It, and it's inspiring for me to see her do her thing. She accomplished so much, everything in WWE, and now she's about to do the do everything at a whole, at a much higher level outside of WWE and being in the Star Wars and everything. So she she's doing it all. She's doing it all. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, what about for you? Know as we look into the future for 2023, what do you say at this point? Because this has already been a mega 2023 for you. It's already <laughs> been huge. Where do yeah. you want to see yourself as a goal for you by the end of 2023? Man, I, I need a belt around my waist by at some point during this year. And you, you saw that at the Battle of the Battle when I came yes. out and, and, and come, confronted Zach Sabre Jr. So yeah. I think that that title, um, along with the Super Junior Tag titles with, with Kushida, you know, maybe maybe a double champion, you know, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> hey, put it but, out there. <laughs> put it out there. You got to speak it into existence. But I think especially with the world TV title, it's perfect for my style. Fifteen minute matches. It's for the for the young up and coming wrestlers in New Japan anyway. And what better way to to really uh, establish myself as uh, one of the best wrestlers in New Japan? Period. Going against the best technical wrestler, you know, in in the world they, that they can consider Zack Sabre Jr. So I, I think I I'm actually I know I can uh, keep up with him. So it's going to be a great time when we get in that ring and do our thing. So so look forward to that. Look forward to that, definitely. So just saying that, I, I really think and agree with that, too. That technical style that Zack Sabre Jr.'s style that he has, and I think will blend with you perfectly in the ring, uh, yeah. that, that will be an excitement for me <laughs> to see. And once again, Zack Sabre Jr., a veteran in this business, who's been yeah. doing this for a while, and having you come up and, and just interact with that, that would be something to watch. Um, so, spectacle. Exactly. Definitely. Exactly. Um, and as we get ready to wrap up, you know, I know your time is very busy and precious. So I, I uh, just first of all, 
appreciate you jumping on and and definitely we we wanted to do this for a while but oh, wow, timing is, wow. is always great for a yes, reason sir. and we had to have that patience so this is even better that we're doing this now more than any time but what are some upcoming just throw your stuff out there what's some upcoming shows you want people to see you that's upcoming or um in addition to that throw some some your, your twitter handles whatever handle you want people to follow you just go ahead and set the floor with that for yourself yes sir Up, upcoming man always tune into the new japan shows whether it's on fight tv i know we had some delays a few times but we're gonna get that settled we're gonna get that settled fight tv um what we have uh we got uh Surrender, no surrender for uh, New Pack uh, Impact coming up this weekend in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Check those out whenever Impact is airing, whether it's BTI or on Access TV every Thursday at eight. Um, Mania Week, man, got to check into the For the Culture show. Got to tap into that. Got to support our own always. Um, and also Prestige Wrestling doing that same one on Fight TV. Uh, we got the Impact New Japan Multiverse show coming around soon. So. Man, you can see me anywhere, all of those shows. So support whenever you can. It's not it's not just WWE, AEW out here. It's a lot, a lot of other products out here that are whatever you're looking for, we got it. Whatever you're looking for, we got it. Whether it's wrestling, characters, you know, comedy, <laughs> whatever it may be. So yeah, tap in. If you want to follow me on social media, Jet Two Fly always on, on Twitter uh, and uh and IG. J E T number two F L double Y. Chat, tap in, man. We we trying to come up. We just trying to make some money, just like you are with the big gold belt. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, Kevin Knight, Jet to Fly on Twitter. Make sure you follow him. <laughs> this is my guy. Like, look out for him. This guy is like you said. I'm gonna use what you said. It's about to be a rocket ship, and you about to be out of here and do what you need to do. <laughs> um, but man, thank you so much. And for those just checking us out, once again, you know how to follow us on our platforms for Big Old Belt Media. We're going to be dropping this on SoundCloud tonight so we can make sure we get some love and support. I'll share this out on, on everything just for you, man. And, you know, I got you. Anything where you in town or I can be where you are, you know, I'm going to be there to yeah. support. So, yes, sir, so yes, for sure, this, this is fam right here. And I'm just My boy Marcellus, very man. Yeah, hey, I, I'm, I'm proud <laughs> of you, man. I'm proud of you. So definitely, man, we, you're going to be seeing us again. So hopefully, if you don't mind, like if down the road, come back and join us too, you know, oh, for, for another interview and we could definitely chat up or what's, what you got going on. But man, just continue to do great things. Stay healthy. Take care of yourself. And I know you're very adamant about that. Um, and definitely, maybe, <laughs> you know, maybe, you know. maybe, maybe you can get some other family we know off the record to try to get on board. <laughs> but that, that's for another conversation. We'll, we'll leave that under the radar. Is inside yeah, joke yeah, between yeah, us. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Yep. 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 But to to all you guys, we'll see you on the next time.